In today's episode, we're jumping into the free-to-play online battle royale, Blood Hunt free on PS5 and on Steam for PC. Uh, we got a victory in this, which is real nice. Also, melee weapons, particularly this katana, are super OP in this game. Hmm. Oh. Yep. Uh, aside from this thing doing just a ton of damage per hit, it also can deflect bullets back at your opponent, which is pretty insane that, that that's even an option for this thing, especially considering how, how strong it really is. But, you know, people are going to overuse these melee weapons until they get balanced out. So, I mean, if you want to get into this game and um, get in on some of the fun, I guess, if you want to call it that, I would highly suggest uh, getting familiar with your melee weapons. So for those of you who don't know, as I said earlier, this is a battle royale. It's a free-to-play battle royale that offers uh, both uh, uh, solos, duos, and trio gameplay um, from that battle royale standpoint. So you can play this on your own or you can play with a group of friends. Um, it has a lot of, you know, I mean, it's not Fortnite, obviously, but y you could see people who maybe almost liked Fortnite but just couldn't get around the cartooniness of it or something, this might be a good substitute for you, possibly, I would say. Um, ultimately, it does provide some interesting things. Uh, obviously, you're, you, you're a vampire, and you're fighting other vampires, and sometimes uh, some things called cultists, which are essentially just AI vampires filling up a space if the particular round you're in was not able to fill the room completely. Um, there are also civilians scattered around the map that you can feed on, and each of them will have and give you a uh, potential upgrade to a skill or to a primary function of your character such as maybe a, a boost to melee damage and uh, there is a, a function that you can scan the entire map or at least the surrounding area and when you see certain civilians they'll be marked with certain colors and depending on the color will give you an idea of how good of an upgrade they drinking the blood of that particular civilian might be for you. You're going to be drinking blood bags uh, to fill your health back up essentially. You're going to be shooting a range of weapons that are all going to be very familiar to you, um, AK-47s, uh, small SMGs, pistols, shotguns, sniper rifles, uh, all the usual suspects are here, And but as we showed you earlier in the video, melee weapons are kind of where it's at right now uh, because you can literally take down a whole, a whole game with melee weapons, and on this particular victory here that is on screen, aside from that last few people right there, 90% of the kills I got in that game were all melee, and I was able to defend myself even when people knew I was coming, they really couldn't stop me. So <laughs> it's definitely overpowered, um, and that's something that I think that they'll, they, they should hopefully get figured out. I'm a little surprised they didn't already because this game has been in early access for a while, and has just recently been released uh, free to play for everybody, um, or at least on PS5 and on PC. So we'll have to see whether or not uh, the developers are going to maybe take note of just how overpowered uh, these melee weapons are, again, particularly that katana. So each of your character builds, there's a lot of archetypes, is what they call them in the game, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe, of them. Seven, uh, with the enforcer that was added recently. Um, each have their own s uh, special... Let me take that back. Each have their own special powers. Uh, that enable them to do any number of things. Uh, sometimes uh, you might be able to harden your skin and become bulletproof temporarily, uh, but not be able to do any damage while doing that. Some people can become invisible temporarily. Uh, you can blind people with a flash of unprecedented beauty, which will is essentially just a flashbang. Uh, that works pretty well. Uh, you can do long jumps, uh, po basically power f power jumps uh, from across uh, rooftops, or to make your way out of a sticky situation. Um, any number of things, a lot of different things to choose from, and uh, they're all pretty cool, I would say. They're all balanced fairly well. The Enforcer has some very strong attributes, like I said, that that uh, marble skin is what it's called. Allows them to become bulletproof temporarily, although it is very temporary. Um, some people think that's a little too much, but uh, I really, I, 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 you know, I don't know. So currently, there's only one map available for this game, and I can see this becoming a, an issue fairly quickly, even for players who like it quite a bit. Um, one map gets pretty stale in a battle royale, especially when the map is 
the size of this map. It's not tiny, but it certainly isn't big by any stretch of imagination, and it's not going to take very long for people to just absolutely know every single nook and cranny of this thing, and, and it's going to get old, I think, fairly quickly. But ultimately, the game itself is pretty damn fun. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun so far playing it. Um, I've had some times where I was like, okay, whatever, you know, some hit register issues, but ultimately most things seem to work pretty damn well uh, all the time. Um, I still haven't played with a group of people yet or with another person, however, I'll probably be trying that uh, going forward a little bit, um, as playing it solo can get a little stale after a while. Uh, usually I'm able to find a game fairly quickly. Um, I, I've heard some console players have found it a little bit harder, but ultimately it seems like people are playing this game enough on both platforms to provide a fairly quick matchmaking experience. Uh, all in all, I think it's a pretty it's a pretty good game, and uh, if you're into Battle Royales at all, this would definitely be something to give a try, obviously. And if you were the kind of person who sort of likes BRs, but, you know, maybe is on the fence, this is probably different enough of an experience, at least from a weapons and the, the just the base, uh, the base of how the game works, um, to maybe provide you some entertainment. But ultimately... Um, that, that, that's what you got. It's still just a BR game that uh, is uh, vampires. So it gives you something a little different in a world that is still fairly familiar. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, uh, we'll see you uh, real soon, I hope.